How'd that feel? Good. Could be better though. I gotta got tell you, the other day when I was down watching you hit balls the other day, and I know you were very excited when you came back from the range. You just took down your seven iron and you took down your pitching wedge. And I know you said you were working on some length issues. Well, you know, I think if you could shorten your backswing a little bit with that shot with your driver, um, it would help you because you're, you know, the key to to distance, and it's hard because you know we've been watching John Daly play for so long, all these years. And John Daly, when you hear his name, you associate that with distance. Right? So, and John Daly has a swing that wraps around his head. He's very good. He gets the impact the right way. But I think a lot of our members, um, you know, try to do the same thing, try to emulate that long backswing and, and think that's going to equate into bigger distance. But, you know, you know as a teacher that the golf swing works more based on width. If your swing is, is wide, I'm not saying to be wide purposely or try to grow the width, it's about maintaining John Barefoot's width. You know, John Barefoot's width is different than my width. So um, I think if you got that backswing to be just a little bit shorter and not allow that grip to get closer to you, you would kind of get rid of that shot that kind of goes off to the right. You know, you kind of notice you fell back even just a little bit. So, you know, did you feel like you, you, know, you, you rotated through it well, or what do you think about it? Uh, the rotation felt good. Again, like you said, it was long, a little off balance. And uh, like you said, the wedges I was hitting, seven irons the other day, everything was in balance and um, I think because of the width was the, was the biggest issue that got me to have better balance and you know ultimately better ball striking. So um, let me try another one here and see if I can shorten it up, keep my width. Hopefully, it'll hit a little better. That was really good. So kind of what we're talking about here today, folks, is the fact that, you know, staying in balance, John was now able to get more forward because his width was much better at the top. Because what happens when you get balance um, in golf, if you get that golf club working too far back and long, you get the weight transferring back to your front foot, and then it always goes back to the opposite foot when your club starts to move towards the golf ball. So if you notice that time with John's golf swing, it was much shorter. And he was able to get that right shoulder pass in the golf ball. And if you would see where that went, he would be, I'm impressed. It went right down the middle of the fairway. And you know you can play golf from the middle of every fairway.